I am so tired this morning. <clears throat> you guys can hear my voice is a little rattly because I woke up with this weird cough and it's a little bit productive. I feel nauseous and I'm just thinking I'm going to email my doctor and just say, hey, I have these things going on. Do I need to get another chest x-ray? Is it just, you know, <clears throat> maybe the after effects of pneumonia with the flu? Like, what's going on so I'm just gonna take it really easy today my boss told me to take it very easy if I need to work from home work from home I feel fine enough obviously I'm at Starbucks right now so I'm trying to get some coffee um, to go to work but people are very sick at my work and I'm really afraid that I interact with so many people that I'm gonna get some other kind of illness oh my gosh and I'm just hoping I don't get that but I understand we're all very busy people and we all want to get our paychecks. We all need to work and we all can't let our work slide. However, you know, we need to take care of our bodies as well. Got my iced caramel macchiato skinny. So hopefully this will, you know, do me some good. <laughs> I am so like obsessed with coffee, you guys. I can't like I can't function without my coffee. My work does have coffee and they have decent coffee, like four different flavors and decaf and like 5,000 types of tea and crystal lights and stuff. But you know, I just need my iced caramel macchiato, skinny. <laughs> and Starbucks has the skinny, you know, um, caramel syrup, whereas like Dunkin' doesn't. So you pay five bucks at Starbucks, but they have the sugar-free um, like syrups, whereas Dunkin' Donuts, you pay two seventy-three, but every nothing is sugar-free. So it just makes it a little, I don't know, I go to Starbucks once in a while. I usually go just to Dunkin's and just get my special order, but Today is a Starbucks and now I'm driving. And I just want to say one more thing before my phone dies because I didn't charge it last night is I freaking hate the winter when you get to the drive through of Starbucks and your, 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 your window's frozen shut. So then you're like all embarrassed and like opening your whole door and have to get out and shit. And I'm like, this guy at Starbucks, he's like, oh no, you're having a day. I said, oh, I'm having a month. <laughs> Hi my cuddle bugs, it's Anna. I'm just dropping in for a update video. Um, doing better today than I have been. Um, and that's because when I went to the doctor yesterday to get the x-ray again, they gave me two steroid shots in my hips. Um, steroid shots in my hips. And then they gave me one shot antibiotic and that's on top of the Leviquin antibiotic I'm already taking orally. And then... I have a, um, I have a oral steroid for my lungs, prednisone, that I'm taking, and then I'm also taking now a duo nebulizer, which has two different kinds of medicines in it, um, so the albuterol and then something else, and that is really, really helping me, um, breathe. I also am taking codeine cough syrup at night, so I'll take it every four hours, um, at nighttime so that I can. So yeah, I'll take the codeine at night and it helped me sleep really well last night, which was really nice. I had to wake up um, at like four to take another codeine and also the nebulizer, but the dual nebulizer is really helping me. Today, I've been breathing a lot better and my cough is different. So it's more of a productive cough than it has been, whereas it's been before the dark, the deep, deep pneumonia, like dry cough. Um, I just got something in my eye. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's getting a little better. When I'm walking around, I'm still getting a lot of out of breath and I need a couple more minutes to like situate myself. But then like I've been able to like walk around and not be so coffee that I'm like at the point where I want to pee my pants. It's not been that bad today. So it's getting better today. And I think as long as I stay on top of the Dua Nebulizer and all the medicines that I'm on, it's going to get a lot better. Colton's doing awesome. He's not showing any signs that his pneumonia is sticking around. He has a couple coughs here and there, but he's only had to do a nebulizer treatment as, like, needed. Um, he hasn't really had any problems. He His last antibiotic is actually tonight, and then he will be done with the antibiotics. Um, so he's doing good. I'm doing good. I'm super excited because I went to Target, and they had, like, 70% off of Valentine's stuff. So I saw a lot of cute stuff, like pillows and like scarves and different things that I could use for like 
that other people might like for gifts and stuff. So I just got a good bunch of stuff. <laughs> and I went to Trader Joe's and got some fresh veggies and stuff that I wanted there. And Sierra picked up this cookie butter. Um, and we've been eating it in chocolate rice crackers. And they're so freaking good. Oh, my God. It tastes like cookies to me. Like, it's really good. Um, besides that, I wanted to tell you the names of all the medicines that I'm taking. I don't know why, but I'm going to. So, I'm on the Cetrazine, which is like a high dose of like Zyrtec allergy medicine because my allergies rile up my asthma. Then I have the Prendazone 20 milligram tabs, and I take that twice a day. And then I have the Bazonotate tabs. Bazonotate tabs. They're just for like itching in your throat, and they're supposed to help you soothe it. Then the Levofloxacin, which is also the Leviquin, which is like the antibiotic that makes me feel like I'm on drugs. <laughs> and then I have my Evenselin regular inhaler. Um, this is my souped up steroid inhaler, 220 milligrams they put me up to. And then I have like the steroid nasal. And then I have like the codeine and my duo nebulizer, but I obviously don't have that like that I keep in my purse. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of stuff to stay on top of. And But I think definitely between the trip yesterday and today, I'm doing like a lot better. Yeah, besides that, today, Sierra and I have been hanging out, went to Target, our favorite store ever, and I made her some vegetarian Cajun rice for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to try to go to Chris's house and I'm going to use my Instapot to make uh, like a seafood and sausage, uh, like Cajun rice uh, for a Mardi Gras, late Mardi Gras celebration, um, but she's vegetarian, so I made her like a Cajun rice here with um, Trader Joe vegetables and stuff like that and then I meal prepped and I made a braised uh, red cabbage uh, Cishan brat which is vegan brat um, some of the Cajun rice I made for her and also uh, roasted sweet potatoes and then so that'll be my meal prep for dinner and then for lunch I'm gonna be meal prepping um, uh, brown rice kale and pomegranate and feta cheese salad, so that's gonna be really yummy as well. And then for breakfast, it's gonna be the guacamole on the toast. So yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So for the rest of the night, I actually just took a dose of codeine, um, and cause I was noticing I was starting to cough more and then I can get ready, you know, for sleep and stuff. Um, but we're watching Harry Potter uh, marathon so far. We watched uh, the first Harry Potter last night. That's uh, Sorcerer's Stone, the Sorcerer's Stone, and then we watched the second one today. Well, I was mostly cooking during that, but I don't care. I like to listen to that background noise. And then now we're on the third Harry Potter movie, and I have a statistics exam tomorrow, which I did two practice exams today, and I did pretty well on them. So I'm going to do my statistics exam tomorrow and after Chris's house. Um... I could do it Monday, but I don't want to go to work on Monday, and so Monday, next week, at least for the early week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do wake up in the morning and work from home so I can get my breathing treatments in, and once my breathing treatments are in, then I'm going to go into the office because nobody wants to sit by somebody coughing.